I'm doing my genetics video 3 on the Watson and Crick DNA model. These are the components of the DNA that we're going to be discussing. So these are the four components of nucleic acids in DNA. Thymine, adenine, thiosine, guanine, and these two base pair, and these two base pair, and then these two are purines, and then these two are medines. These are the hydrogen bonds between the base pairs in the double helix, these bonds here. So thymine and adenine have two bonds here and here. And then cytosine and guanine have three bonds here, here, and here. The phosphate backbone of the DNA, this part right here, is made up of a phosphate and a sugar. And then to form the chain, the other phosphate comes in like this and it continues. So down here we have the ribose carbons and we're going to talk about their significance. So carbon one, it has an OH bond connected to it. This is where it will connect here. It would connect to the base. Um, the two prime position significant because in deoxyribose, which is DNA, it's an H, but in RNA, it would be an OH bond there. And then both of them have an OH bond at the three prime position, which is where the other phosphate group comes in and attaches. So this would be another phosphate. Then the four prime is where a methyl group attaches to go to the other phosphate right here. So this part, the phosphate is where it attaches at the five prime position. So DNA has an anti-parallel structure, so each of the backbones goes in opposite direction. If it's 5' prime to 3', prime, the 5' prime end will be a phosphate group, and the 3' prime end is always going to be the sugar. So for this side, it'd be flipped sort of like that. And then the DNA, since it's the double helix, it's two strands basically wrapped around each other. For the handedness, you just follow the direction the one of the backbones is pointing. So for this, it'd be pointing this way, so it's right-handed. And also, there are major and minor grooves, the secondary structure of DNA, since it is this double helix wraparound. Minor groove is the base pairs interacting, and then the major groove is when the phosphate backbones are interacting, making the gaps wider. So if DNA was in a salt buffer, um, the salt would make the negative charge backbone more stabilized, so the DNA would um, not separate as easily. This is a DNA melting curve. So as the temperature increases, the DNA denatures more, but since that sodium buffer would be present, it would make this denaturation point further. So the DNA is more stable when you increase salt. Denaturation is also to increase as you increase salt. These are my references, thank you.